day YouTube. This is just a bit of a comparison video between MX Linux on the left and Manjaro on the right. So without further ado, let's get into it. So starting off, both versions are the latest releases, MX Linux 21, Manjaro 21, you know the story there. They're both rolling releases. Uh, now the one on the left, MX Linux, is based on uh, Debian, whereas the one on the right uh, is based on Arc, Arc Linux, very thriving, happy community there. Now, the, uh, the desktop environments, these could both be considered, uh, for what you see here, the, the default desktop environments. Uh, there are other versions available, but this is the XFCE one, uh, known to be mostly a light to midweight operating system. So you've got your start menus there, you've got your context menus, do whatever you need to there. Now, although it is the same front end, uh, as you can see here, let's just show you the specs it has been optimized a little bit differently. So uh, although we've, oh, we'll just get out of that. So we've got a little di different color accents or tones, if you will. Uh, we've got a uh, the, the menus on the side and bottom, you know, nothing to write home too much about. Does the same basic thing there. Now uh, let's have a look at the file manager. So we are dealing with the lightweight file manager that is known as Thunar. So we'll load that up. Uh, Thunar there, Thunar there again, all even same version, so exact same thing, again, different colors, uh, that sort of thing, but hey, right click, go to your terminal, and everybody is really happy as Larry there. Uh, now, we'll uh, have a look at the kernel, because this is where things can sometimes tend to differ, but maybe not too much this time, we're running both on the same kernel, 5.10 for both of them. So that's interesting enough. An older kernel can sometimes be more, be more stable, but uh, less designed to be uh, compatible with uh, newer hardware, or, or not yet designed, should I say. <laughs> Very, uh, you gotta, gotta watch out for that wording there, don't you? Well, let's have a look at the, uh, the CPU usage, so, and the RAM. So that's all idling out nice and nicely, and we are really like for like here with the RAM. So on boot up, they're both running at about 550, 560 megabytes of RAM. Nothing else is booted up in the background, save for the operating system itself, but hey, that's what it's all about. Just trying to get as fair as possible a comparison between the two. Now, that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. Please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and I hope to see all of you guys there in the next one.